Beverly Hills Hotel is under fire tonight because of a decision by the hotel's owner, the Sultan of Brunei. He's imposing a controversial law in his country that will allow the stoning of gays and women. CBS 2's Serene Branson has details of the boycott. I will not frequent an establishment that is owned by a person who says they are going to stone gays. At issue, an edict by the Beverly Hills Hotel owner, the Sultan of Brunei, to introduce tomorrow what's called Islamic Sharia law in Brunei, a small oil producing country in Southeast Asia. Ultimate penalties include stoning to death of gay men and lesbians and flogging women who have had abortions and even more uh, other draconian measures. Uh, we could not, could not hold the event there. Kathy Spiller is the executive vice president of the Feminist Majority Foundation that was planning their global women's rights awards here. After campaigning against the Taliban in the late 90s, they're now campaigning to stop the Sultan. This Sultan of Brunei will become a pariah if he doesn't reverse these edicts. These are egregious human rights violations. The jet setting Sultan, who owns properties around the world, said he was doing it to protect his people from globalization. Board member Mavis Leno said to co chair the event with husband Jay said kill a gay laws or laws that allow the flogging of women for abortion violate international law and have no place in civilized society. The Dorchester Collection, which runs the hotel, said in part, Dorchester Collection continues to abide by the laws of the countries we operate in and does not tolerate any form of discrimination of any kind. And the awards event coming up this Monday has been relocated to the Hammer Museum in Westwood. And we're told, though, that demonstrators will hold a rally here in front of the hotel Monday at noon. Reporting live tonight in Beverly Hills, Serene Branson, CBS 2 News.